Just as I have said, whosoever conquers shall be crowned. That is exactly what has happened with the students. Classification of membership. The students will not say anything of their own. Whatever they hear from the Father, same shall they declare unto you. Any person or Bethel that obeys them shall have peace and progress, and God shall not depart from them. The Christ students are now peacemakers. The different names, the Christ students, Christ servants, Christ's practical students and the rest of the groupings have different meanings and assignments. Facts about Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. The first important thing that must be known and noted in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star is all tithe, free will authoring, and charity belong to the Father. Such monies must not be used for any administrative or other purposes. If your Bethel organizes a launching from the amount realized, one tenth of it should be forwarded to the Father as tithe. Whatever God has blessed you with, crops, animals or children, etc., you have to surrender the tenth of it to God as tithe. This is not in any way done through compulsion. It is a means of expressing a thankful heart. This is not the kind of tithe which a visioner mandates you to pay. Supposing somebody earns 20 naira a month, if a visioner directs, he pay a tithe of 20 naira, is that one tenth of that amount, or is God a father of confusion? This goes to prove how heartless some of these visioners are. Tithe is nothing but a covenant reached between an individual and God. No other person should know about it. See, Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven, and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Whosoever does not practice brotherhood according to its tenets and rules, cannot experience its beauty, and the blessings of God elude him. What God has done to mankind is so great, we should not hesitate to show appreciation to him. Mutual cooperation, love and understanding. Here in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, there should be coexistence, mutual coexistence, love, oneness, and mutual understanding. It has been said, the duty of the servants of God is to seek for the good of others, as written in Matthew chapter 23 verse 11, but he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. Judging from the above reason, I choose you so, you will serve and not to be served. If you do this, then the world would see the glory of God. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, nobody would have been sick, no person should have lacked, and there should have been no limitation, if the word of God were to be practiced. All of you have rejected the word of God. I have brought you these teachings so, you may change. If you endeavor to pay your tithe regularly and promptly with whatever God has given you, then you will have peace of mind, and the glory of God will be manifested in you. Other facts about Brotherhood of the Cross and Star. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, there is no orchestration, no burning of candles and incenses, no incantation, no perfumery, no bathing at midnight, no authoring of prayers at designated places, and no invocation. Once you believe and get baptized, our Lord Jesus Christ abides in you, and you have therefore, obtained salvation. Baptism in Brotherhood of the Cross and Star has no specific time. Once a person is ready for it, arrangements should be made to get him baptized. A baptized member of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, whether man or woman is free, and have been authorized to baptize another. Many members have circumvented these guidelines, and have delegated authority to themselves to baptize in their Bethels, such people fix times, which are favorable to them. This is wrong, as this arrangement creates avenue for them to charge a fee. A handful of persons will not be able to baptize the entire world. That is why, all baptized brotherhood, have the mandate to convert and baptize others. Mark chapter 16 verse 16. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. This is the judgment. In this wise, baptism should not be restricted. As many people, as possible should get into the world and baptize people, so they may evade the judgment. Once a person is baptized, he receives the Holy Spirit, and it is this Spirit that will teach him everything. You are living witnesses to the happenings in this kingdom. Accordingly, you are charged to go out and teach the world how to love one another. Brotherhood of the Cross and Star decries idleness. Nobody should be idle or lazy. Every person should be gainfully employed. This kingdom does not permit idleness, stealing, laziness or begging. 
You are free to engage in farming, trading, fishing, or any other profession. God has healed you of your infirmities, and has already fed you. You have to appreciate and compliment that gesture. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, we neither drink, nor offer same to anybody. We do not go to the hospital, or consult oracles. Neither do we snuff nor indulge in any form of vice. Whatever your problems, if you confess your sins and knock your head on the ground, your problems will surely be taken away. God dwells in everything, and this is the time of transformation. Mankind will be removed from sinfulness to sinlessness. Therefore, whatever happens to you, know it has a particular purpose to fulfill. How do I solve my problems? The solution to all your problems lies in the following. A. Confession of sins. B. Fasting. C. Praying. D. Feasting and evangelical work. Ministry work and preaching. The charge given to all of you now is to go out and preach the gospel to the world. That does not stop you from engaging in your normal profession or trade. If you are a farmer, a trader, a civil servant or fisherman, continue with your work. After each day's job, endeavor to go out and preach to the world to forsake sins, and convert them unto God. Do not force any person to repent, because there is not force in brotherhood. Everything is done willingly and in love. Whosoever does not want to repent and serve God, leave him alone, for he has not erred. Whoever does not want to fast and pray, do not force him as well. God requires a thankful heart. If all the members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star were to love one another, all problems would have been subjected to them. If you were to appreciate the love of God towards you, and his protection at all times, you would not fail to show a thankful heart, by paying your tithes regularly. All along, you had been consulting oracles, taking drugs, modern or native, and preparing charms, you paid heavily for all these, yet you had no peace. In Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, all problems are subjected to you. Poverty and afflictions are all forgotten issues, yet you do not praise God, why? You cannot claim to love God, if you do not love your brethren. 1 John chapter 4 verse 20 If you show benevolence to your fellow brother, you will be rewarded accordingly. This is confirmed in Matthew chapter 10 verses 41 and 42. He that receiveth the prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward, and he that receiveth the righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive a righteous man's reward. And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. Matthew chapter 10 verses 41 and 42. Success through obedience. Now, everybody has got to emulate the Father and resemble him. You have to refrain from fornication, anger, hatred and other vices. Do not imitate any member. If you emulate the Father, and practice his injunctions, you will surely witness the glory of God in you. Your wife, your husband, your children, your relations and all your friends shall disappoint you, but the Father will never disappoint you forever. In any case, it is not the pleasure of your parents, friends or relations to disappoint you. They, being slaves, cannot liberate you. They cannot therefore, help you, because they themselves are afflicted, and in need of salvation. They definitely cannot offer you, what they do not possess, Nemo dad quad non habit. The Father has come to liberate you, and to remove you from bondage. This is a new world, where everything is new. No one should live according to the dictates of the flesh. Always listen to the Spirit. If you do whatever the Father does not sanction, it will not work out well. Whatever the Father tells you to do, do not hesitate. Do not toy with the words of the Father. Re-educate others on these facts. Your problem is, you do not heed to the Father's instruction. You stand, when he charges you to sit, and when he tells you to stand, you start moving. Note very well, all things shall pass away, but not a jot of the words of God shall pass away, without being fulfilled. Matthew chapter 5 verse 18. Decentralization of Pentecostal centers. There should be no division or discrimination, no matter the multitude. You all are sheep under one shepherd. The decentralization of Pentecostal centers is done so those who cannot pay their fares to Caliper can equally enjoy the activities in their localities. This is also to fulfill the words of the scriptures which states, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, Matthew chapter 28 verse 19. The Pentecostal centers are, therefore, no kingdoms or empires carved out for certain persons. 
everything belongs to the Father. You are at liberty to attend any Pentecostal center.